Today, we're going to play a super fun game called Find the Hidden Treasure in the world of P2P, which stands for peer-to-peer. -peer. It's like going on a treasure hunt right from your cozy home. Isn't that exciting? Think about this, you have a piggy bank where you keep your extra pennies and dimes. P2P is a bit like that, but instead of saving coins, you share or loan them through the internet to other people, and they give you some extra as a thank you. It's like when you share your toys with friends, and they give you some of their snacks in return. Meet Sarah. She loves to save her allowance and is always looking for smart ways to earn more. She's heard about this P2P thing and is curious about how it can help her save up for a shiny new bike. But Sarah has questions, just like you might. She wonders, what is this P2P? How do I use it to make money? Is it easy? We're going to help Sarah, and you, find the answers. P2P is getting more and more popular because it's easy peasy. It's like when everyone at school starts trading stickers because it's simple and fun. With P2P, you can be in charge of your money, and you don't have to wait for grown-ups to help you out. You can be like a little boss. In our P2P game today, we're going to look at two special ways to play and win. One is called P2P lending, where you can be like a mini bank, and the other is P2P trading, where you swap things you have for money. Both ways are great for earning, and we'll talk about how they're special. So, are you ready to join Sarah and start this cool adventure? Click that subscribe button, it's like saying yes to the game. Put on your thinking cap, and let's begin this amazing journey to find out how P2P can help you and Sarah save up for those awesome things you've been dreaming about. Off we go! The ABCs of P2P, your path to making money online. Let's talk about P2P, short for peer-to-peer. -peer. It's a way for people like you and me to make money on the internet by sharing or lending things we have. Imagine you have a toy that you don't play with anymore. Instead of letting it collect dust, you let a friend borrow it, and they give you a little money for helping them out. That's kind of what P2P is all about, helping each other and getting some pocket money in return. So, why do people like using P2P? Well, it's super handy. You know how you can call your friend on the phone instead of writing a letter? P2P works the same way. It lets you and someone else help each other without waiting for anyone else to help you make the swap. It's quick, you're the boss, and you get to make all the choices. But how does it work, exactly? Let's say you have $10 from your birthday. With P2P lending, you could lend that money to someone who needs it to buy something important, like books for school. They promise to give you your $10 back plus a little extra for being so nice. That extra is your profit, more money for you. And what about P2P trading? It's like when you trade your sandwich for your friend's cookies at lunch. But with P2P trading, you swap things online. Maybe you trade a video game you've finished playing for money, and someone else is happy because they get to play the game, and you're happy because you have money to buy something new. P2P is great because you get to make decisions, help people out, and earn some cash, all from your computer or phone. And that's why people are chatting about P2P, it's a simple, fast way to use what you have to get what you want. Now, isn't that a fun way to think about making money? P2P lending, your own money-making bank game. Let's play be the bank. In the P2P world, you can lend your extra cash to others and earn some back, just like a bank does. This extra cash is called interest, and it helps your money grow. Here's what you do, take a bit of your saved up money and lend it safely on a website. Your money could help someone start a cool project, like a lemonade stand or a clubhouse. When they pay you back, they'll add a little extra as a thank you. Why try this out? You'll feel like a hero, using your savings to do good things, and you'll get more money in return. It's like caring for a plant that pays you back in dollars. To keep it safe, don't lend all your money to one person. Spread it out to a few, so if someone's late paying back, you're not stuck. It's playing the lending game with smarts. And guess what? Your money might help someone's dream come true. Imagine someone opening their own bakery because you lent them money for an oven. By being smart with P2P lending, you could be part of someone's story of success. And all the while, your own savings keep getting bigger like magic. How great is that? 
For P2P lending, there are some cool websites that can help you be like a mini bank safely. One of them is called LendingTree. It's like a big online park where lots of people come to borrow and lend money. If you want to lend some of your allowance or birthday money, you can go on LendingTree, see who needs a little extra cash, and lend it to them. They'll pay you back with a bit extra for your piggy bank. Just remember, if you're thinking about lending money directly to someone without using a website, you should check the rules in your place to make sure it's okay to do that. Every place has different rules, and we want to play this game right and safe. P2P, tra P2P trading, the fun way to turn your stuff into cash. Let's jump into another exciting P2P game called Trading Treasures. Have you ever had toys or games that you're done playing with? Well, with P2P trading, you can turn those old games into new cash. It's like when you trade cards on the playground, but instead, you're trading online with people who really want what you've got. Here's the fun part, you're like the boss of your own toy shop. You get to pick out the games you don't play with anymore and put price tags on them, just like in a real store. Then, you find other kids who are looking for those games, and they give you money for them. It's your shop, your rules. You don't have to worry about sharing your money with big stores or anyone else. Why is this so cool? Because you get to make all the choices. It's like being in charge of your own game where you can decide the best way to swap your things. You can make deals that make both you and the other kid happy. Maybe you've got a game they've been searching for, and they've got the money you need for that new toy you've been eyeing. But how do you do it? Easy peasy. You take a picture of your game, put it up on a P2P trading site, and set your price. Then you just wait for someone to say, hey, I want that. You make the swap and, tada. You've got more money for your piggy bank, and they've got a new game to play. It's all about sharing what you have and getting something great in return. That's the magic of P2P trading. It's trading fun things with others and watching your savings grow at the same time. So, what are you waiting for? Let's turn those old games into new adventures. Now, when it comes to P2P trading for digital currency, Binance P2P is the place to be. It's a platform where you can exchange cryptocurrencies, kind of like digital tokens or coins, with others around the globe. You simply list the crypto you have, much like hanging a for sale sign in your virtual window, and wait for an interested buyer to strike a deal. But remember, trading in crypto is a big kid game, and it's crucial to do it through safe, trustworthy platforms like Binance P2P that make sure every trade is fair. Not quite sure what all this crypto talk is about. We've got a handy video that'll take you through it step by step, so be sure to check it out. With Binance P2P and our video guides, you'll be on your way to boosting your digital savings in no time. Conclusion And that's our adventure in the land of P2P, folks. Just like Sarah, who started curious and is now on her way to saving up for that shiny new bike, you too can begin your journey. P2P is like a playground where you can share and trade, turning your extra things or money into even more. It's a place full of chances to make your wallet happier. Ready to become a mini banker or a shop owner in the P2P world, just like Sarah? All you need is to be clever about who you share with and find the safest places to play this game. Keep these tricks in your mind, and soon you could be watching your money grow. If you're itching to learn more about how to make your coins multiply with P2P, press that subscribe button 